Hey guys, what's going on? It is Talk Voice TV. Yes, I'm back with another transfer special. All the rumours I do get on players, some of them might just be a rumour, some of them players might be pursuing and might have an interest. So, all these videos I am doing, talking all things transfers, are pretty much so. I do get them told, I do get <coughs> do my research on it as well to try and find out the best possible news to actually bring them. I mean, these um, ones that I've got, they are off the even place from yesterday's, talking about 10 players that I should be looking at to bring in, in because all that, um, that sort of championship experience. Obviously, I, I, I only got five players where I think we could improve, and actually, like I said, spoke about last night, with the Everton star and Birmingham star with Man and Sai, most of these camp out wide or in that central area. So, the first person that I'm going to talk about is Johan Gufon from Newcastle. It, what is one of them players that potentially could be leaving Newcastle, won't be as much of a figure at Newcastle next season with them going up and with Rafa Benitez being there. Forest could be looking at something that could, they could go for, but Rages will be a summing block. But then we could go for now, I imagine we'll be on with Rages there, so it will be an interesting one. The second one is John Woody, goalkeeper from Norwich City. I know we got, got Henderson and Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith, obviously, being their number one. Um, we have been linked with John Woody. It would give us that a lot more competition for that number one spot especially with Henderson coming back from it, that serious Achilles injury he did pick up against Norwich, funny enough, so. Um, but in a way, John Woody, if it might well be too much pursuing another goalkeeper just after that competition, he's on free as well, so. Another player, he is a player that we wasn't into before with when Billy Davis was here first time, we didn't get him because obviously the ball back then didn't want to spend, it is Peter Whittingham. I've been linked with Peter Whittingham. He's he's nothing to be on a free contract at the minute. He is leaving Cardiff to actually at the minute because he can't agree a new contract at the club. So potentially Peter Whittingham could be a very on fee. And if Mark Warburton wanted to be in another experienced midfielder, especially with Vaughan and Cohen with the injuries, is respectively. And that uh, we have got quite a few youngsters in there with Cash, Benny, when he goes in there. We are quite short on centre midfielders in a way. We've got Benny, Cash, Cohen. So, potentially Mark Wolverton could be looking at that and trying to strengthen it. Another player that can easily play in that centre midfield role or as a number 10 pushing forward is Danny Williams from Reading. He's a pivotal player for Reading in a way. He, he does start... Miki Mika and he does have that energy and um enthusiasm into that centre midfield and Danny Billings would be another perfect one just to like in there and actually give that a lot more attacking and defensive work. The last person I think this one it's another one. One of them ones like Johan Guthrum, it is Jeannie Hollett. He is a massive face that group here. He is a talent on his day and many actually on his form um, it's potentially it could be one of them ones Julian Ollie if this coming right just need that little bit to pick up the ball man actually from catch he kick start his career but it's just wages that will be letting him down more than anything and actually thank you for watching Talk Forest TV please like share comment subscribe to the channel and we'll say thank you goodbye